In the latest United Nations Development Program Human Development Report, St. Lucia ranked number 82 out of 187 countries. The Japanese government has informed its overseas corporation volunteers here that it is reviewing the program as a result, with a strong possibility that the highly beneficial program will be discontinued. CTV's Lisa Joseph has more. The JOCV, the Japanese Overseas Corporation Volunteers, has been operating in St. since 1995. The volunteers are all specialists in various areas, from healthcare to education, fisheries, information technology, physiotherapy, special needs education, horticulture, handicraft, and others, imparting their skills and knowledge to locals. But now the program is under threat. The government of Japan, concerned about Senusha's dramatic drop in ranking in the UNDP Human Development Report, has announced that it is reviewing the program with the real possibility that it may be suspended. In the 2008 UNDP report, from data gathered in 2007, Senusha ranked 66. In this latest report, the island is at 82. The Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance makes a case for the country. Senusha continues to grapple with other with after effects of the financial global crisis, like all of the countries in the world. The passage of Hurricane Thomas, which we're still trying to ensure we, we, we uh, improve our infrastructure that was damaged by the hurricane. High unemployment, and we all know what the unemployment figure is here in Senusha at the moment. And 45% of its population being categorized as being vulnerable, and 28% being considered poor from our last um, property assessment report which was done a few years ago. Therefore, the JOCV program is very important to us as the efforts of the Japanese government and the volunteers go a very long way in assisting us and uplifting the socioeconomic welfare of our people. The Human Development Index is a comparative measure of life expectancy, literacy, education, standards of living and quality of life for countries worldwide. It is a standard means of measuring well-being, especially child welfare. Mr. Kalik says the announcement by the Japanese government is surprising and sad, noting that Senusha has benefited tremendously from the program. This assistance has had a significant impact on the lives of students, farmers, persons with disabilities, and has augmented the government's human resource complement needed to support the social sector. The decision, however, is coupled with the fact that Japan is facing serious budget constraints in the wake of the devastating earthquake and tsunami last year. The resident representative of the JOVC has indicated that the Senusha office is most costly given the vast project undertakings. He has though expressed a willingness to keep the program operational here. He says he's lobbying his government in that regard underscoring the importance of the program in the lives of average St. Lucians. We JOCVs need St. Lucians' understanding and broad public support to continue better service. Your constructive comments and ideas for improvement are always welcome to us. And through your valuable comments and suggestions, new stories will come out and those, uh, those coming new stories will bring us the better world. On Thursday, the overseas volunteers held their annual review presentation, showcasing the work they have done over the past two years. For the CTV News, I'm Lisa Joseph reporting. Can...